Okay, any pains or injuries before we start? Okay. Okay, and then you have extra padding, so that's good. All right, so I'll remind you for extra padding if you need it, okay? All right, good day, everyone. This is Stephen Cheng coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, somehowyoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video. Um, you can also find all that information on our website, somehowyoga.com. Um, today's class is Mobility Flow. Um, this class is designed toward um, moving uh, to create fluidity and mobility in the body. Uh, we'll do a lot of uh, repetition and um, drills to uh, bring movement to the spine and to the hips. All right, let's sit up tall. If your hips are tight or lower back tight, please elevate and sit up on a block or a blanket. All right, palms face up and fingers come to Gyanamudra, Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. And as you ground evenly through your seat, elongate through your spine. And start to let your inhales even out with your exhales. Smoothing out the breath. And as you start to draw your senses inwards, also connect to the seat and to your spine. Three ohms together, inhale. Ah. the eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up toward the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response. Om ma pavitraha, Om ma pavitraha, pavitrava, pavitrava, sarva vushtan, sarva vushtan, katopiwa, katopiwa, yaha smarit, yaha smarit, pundrikaksham, pundrikaksham, sapahya, sapahya, Bihyendraha, Bihyendraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes and let the palms face up again. Fingers come back to Gyana Mudra. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. And chin toward the right shoulder. Continue to pull gently to the back of the head. Release back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. And chin toward the left shoulder. Release back to center, drop left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side, roll it back. Opposite side, roll the center. Take a few more rounds at your own pace. And take one more giant circle, chin back toward the chest and pause. And then taking the opposite direction, moving just as slowly. And taking one more giant circle, chin back toward the chest. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and neutral spine, extending the legs forward, separating your feet, hands supporting to either side of you so you can sit up taller, Flex your feet and turn your toes toward each other and then roll them out. 
two more times. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Take out a rotation, circling the ankles. So now you're moving your hip joints, knee joints, ankle joints. Back to center, switch them around, in rotations. And back to center again. Cross your shins and take the opposite shin on top. Position non-dominant crossing of the legs. A little bit confused. All right, see, uh, yes, there you go, on front. So oftentimes, right, when we take the cross-legged without thinking, we take a do dominant side. It's funny how when we switch over, all of a sudden we get confused, we're going to half lotus, etc. So you're just taking the same crossing of the legs, but the other leg on top. So you might feel a little bit tighter, a little bit awkward, right, on this side. And that is a, an example of how we always do things with the dominant side. And when we don't do it with the non-dominant side, we get very tight or very confused when we do it the other way. So think about symmetry, right? Inhale, take the arms up high and extend. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, back up, up to center. Exhale, side bend, to right hand down, left arm overhead. Take the back up again, exhale, other side. Take it back up. We're going to twist again, right hand behind you. Now move your right hand further back and lean the torso back slightly as well. And then when you twist here, you'll get a different spot along the spine. For me, it's a little bit lower toward the lumbar spine. So uh, also for me, this feels really great because this is a spot um, I hardly ever get. So it's quite nice to come here and twist. Inhale, take it back to center, arms up. Exhale, twist to the other side. So move your left hand equally further back. Lean the torso back as well. And then get into the same spot on the other side. Inhale, take it back to center, arms up. Right hand down, left arm up, and bend your left elbow. With your left elbow, exhale. Left elbow toward the right knee. Inhale, take it back up to vertical five times. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, take it back, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, take it back up, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, back up this time, left elbow, right knee, and stay there, and then release your left hand to the floor for support, and then draw the nose in toward the right knee. If you want more extension, you can reach your left fingertips further out to get more stretch through your left arm, left shoulder, across the shoulder blades. And inhale, take it all the way back up, re-extend, come all the way up, switch sides, left hand down, right arm up, and bend your right elbow. Right elbow, left knee, five times. Inhale, take it back up, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, back up, right elbow, left knee. Inhale up, right elbow, left knee. Inhale up this time, right elbow, left knee, and stay there. Release your right hand to the floor for support, and then gently draw the nose in towards the knee. And if you want extra extension, reach your right fingertips further forward and off to your left side to get more stretch through your arm, your shoulder, and across the right shoulder blade. And inhale, take it back up to re-extend. Legs forward. On the exhale, reach forward, grabbing your feet, ankles or your shins, and re-lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Take it back up again, bend your knees, step the feet in. So your feet should be about maybe a foot and a half away from your seat. Grab the front of the shins and separate your feet about uh, hips width, right? So that'll give you better leverage. Lean the, um, Mid back, back in space, surround the spine, chin toward the chest. Inhale, lift the chest, broaden and gently looking up. So seated, cat cows. Round the back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Two more. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round and stay there. Chin toward the chest. Expand through your mid and upper back. Find that space. 
And on the inhale, lift, broaden, and stay here, gently looking up. And release. Walk your feet in toward each other. Take the inner thighs together. You may even walk the heels in a little bit closer. Wrap the arms, uh, the left arm around the shins, right hand behind you, and twist. Keep the right hand supporting. Look forward with your left hand. Grab the outer right foot and extend. And then once you have the right leg extended, look behind you and twist deeper. Look forward once again with the right hand. You can bend your right knee to grab the outer right foot and extend. And once you have your foot, sit up taller by lifting the sternum up and pulling against your foot to draw the shoulders slightly back. And then lean back toward the sacrum. And then if you can free up your left foot to pick up the left foot to balance on the sacrum, take it here. If the balance is pretty easy for you and you can fully extend the left leg, take the left leg forward. Go ahead, release your left leg all the way down. Bend your right knee, releasing your foot and with your hands to the heel, to the underside of your foot, okay? So make sure you also flex your foot to protect the ankle joint and the knee joint. And then sit up tall and then start to lift the heel a little bit higher. So let's start to go into the hips now. If you're able to lift the heel even higher, then draw the right knee back in space and then extend the right heel further forward. Draw the right knee back. Extend it forward. Draw back. Extend forward two more times, draw back, extend, draw back and stay drawing back. And if you have a little bit more mobility in you, draw the right knee even further back. Take it back to center. If you can, leg cradle, arms underneath your right shin and make sure you flex your right foot. And start to release, take the sole of the right foot to the inner left leg, left hand to the, floor behind, uh, to the side of you, right arm up, inhale, lengthen, slightly rotate your torso to face over your left leg, keep a neutral spine as your hinge at the hips draw forward, and then grabbing the foot, ankles or your shins, once you have that um, support, re-lengthen your spine, keep that lengthiness, and hinge at the hips. So whenever you're taking a seated forward fold or a standing forward fold, Try not to round the spine, but instead keep neutral and then hinge at the hips to draw forward. And this will give, give you the most effective lower back stretch. Start to release, inhale, come back up. Counter twist to the right. Ground the right palm to the floor, lift up on the right shin, step the left foot down and reach the left arm up to extend. And then threading the needle, left arm underneath the right. On the exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right. And then inhale, keep your left elbow bent, lift back up to face up toward the sky. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath. Inhale, lift back up five times. Exhale, thread is three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread is four. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread is five. And stay here. Take the left hand to the floor. And then draw the left shoulder, uh, left cheek toward the floor by bending the right elbow. And then as you draw toward the floor, you're getting more stretch into your left arm, outer left shoulder, across the shoulder blade, across the lower back, and outer right leg. So it's a contralateral stretch from your left side all the way through the right. All right, coming back up, re-extend the left arm up and to the back of the room, and then square back to center, taking a seat down, face forward, and then draw the right heel back behind you this time. Now, if you're not able to draw your legs to 90, less than 90 is okay here, all right? So just make sure that you are uh, well supported and as much as you can into a vertical line. So yeah, if that is too much, just come back here or actually go out to the side, might be better. Good. Left hand to the floor, right arm, back, uh, right arm forward. Bend your right elbow. 
bend your right elbow. Inhale, draw that right elbow back. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist to your left. Five times. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Stay twisting. Right hand to the outer left leg for support. And then maybe walk the left hand further back so you can twist even more deeply to the left side. Inhale, square back to center. Carry the right leg forward. Separate your feet about mats with distance. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. And again, keeping the same principle as the with the neutral spine, hinge at the hips to draw forward, grab the inner feet, inner legs. Inhale, re-lengthen. Exhale, draw forward. Right, if you need to bend your knees, perfectly fine to bend your knees and just keep a neutral spine the best you can. Inhale, take it back up, bend your knees, step the feet in together, walk your heels in a little bit closer. Then wrap the right arm around the shins, left hand behind you, re-lengthen your spine on the inhale. Exhale, twist to your left. Keep the left hand supporting. Take the gaze to look forward. With your right hand, grab the outer left foot and extend. You can always keep your left knee bent if full extension is difficult for you. And then reach your left arm back behind you to twist deeper. Then reach your left arm up and overhead. Grab the inside of the left foot and extend. Then start to shift back toward the sacrum. Start to balance on the sacrum. Pick up the right foot and balance in here. Once you have your balance, if you are able to extend the right leg as well, extend. It's a lot harder to balance. So if that's okay, you can just keep your right knee bending, right? And that makes it a lot easier to balance here. Then start to release your right leg. Bend your left knee with your hands on the underside of your foot, supporting and make sure you flex your left foot and sitting up tall. Right, so take the arm, yeah, to the inside of the leg, right? Good. And then sitting up tall and then uh, from here, elevate just a little bit and adjust to that. And then if you can, elevate a little higher. Good. Then start to draw the left knee back Extend the left heel forward. Draw the left knee back. Extend it forward. Draw back. Extend two more times. Draw back. Extend. This time, draw back and stay there. Square back to center. Leg cradle. Arms underneath the left shin. Make sure you flex your left foot and sit up tall once again. Release your left leg, Janu Shishasana. Sew the left foot to inner right leg. Right hand to your floor for support. Inhale, left arm up, elongate. On the exhale, slightly rotate the torso to face over your right leg and keeping a neutral spine. Hinge at the hips to draw forward. Now, once you get your torso forward and you cannot go any further without rounding your spine, then you can move your hand or your arm, grabbing the foot, ankles or your shins. Relengthen, exhale, fold deeper. Start to release, inhale, come back up, keep the legs as they are. Exhale, twist to your left. Keep your left hand supporting to the floor, step on the right foot, uh, lift up on your left shin and raise your right arm up and reach to the back of the room. And again, threading the needle, right arm threads underneath the left, rotating your thoracic spine. Inhale, keep your right elbow bent, lift back up. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, thread is three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread is four. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread is five. Stay here and press your right hand to the floor. As you bend your left elbow, lower right shoulder, right cheek toward the floor, and that would deepen your extension from your outer right arm through the shoulder blade and across the lower uh, back and the left leg. It's the contralateral stretch. And inhale, come back up. Re-extend the right arm to the back of the uh, room. And then exhale, take the seat down, square back forward. And then this time, draw the left leg back if you can, 90 degrees. If not, less than 90 or all the way out to the left side. All right? So right hand to the floor, uh, to the right side of you, left arm forward, and bend your left elbow. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Two more times. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Stay twisting here. Left hand to the outer right leg. You can adjust your right hand further back and use that to help you deepen your twist. Square back to center. Carry your left leg forward. This time, let's take the legs wider than mat swift. Take the left arm, sorry, let's fold forward first. Left hand to the floor, right arm up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, start to lean forward again, neutral spine, and grab the outside of the left foot. Re-lengthen your spine. Exhale, deepen the forward fold. On the inhale, lift up slightly. On the exhale, go even deeper. We'll take one more of these. Inhale, release just a little bit. Exhale, see if you can go even deeper. All right, so incrementally for flexibility poses, incrementally as we hold the poses, right, the muscles release and they lengthen. And so with that, maybe we gain a little bit more range. On the inhale, release, coming back up to center, switching sides, right hand to the floor, left arm is up, inhale, lengthen the spine. Square over your right leg, exhale, start to reach forward and grab the outside of the right foot with your left hand. Then re-lengthen your spine, exhale, forward fold. So maintaining a neutral spine and honor that extension and hinge at the hips to draw forward. Let's take a couple of breaths here and then we'll take it up and down two more times. Inhale, start to release just a little bit. Exhale, maybe go a little bit deeper. Inhale, release just a little bit. Exhale, go even deeper. Inhale, take it back up to center, square back. If you can, take your feet even wider. Left arm to the inside of the left leg, extend the right arm out, palm face up, and then start to side bend over toward the left. Now keep the left hand pressing to the inner left leg for resistance so that you can stack your shoulders, right? So you want to shine the front of the torso up toward the sky the best you can, and then side bend toward the left. All right, so incrementally, we'll go deeper. So take your time and just adjust your way into the flexibility. Inhale, release just a little bit. On the exhale, can you go even deeper? Inhale, release just a little bit. Exhale, can you go even deeper? Right, to the point that maybe your left forearm comes to the floor and pressing the left uh, tricep, left outer arm to the inner left leg. Yeah. 
Start to make your way back up. Let's neutralize your spine by gently twisting to left first. Square back to center. Take it to the other side. Press your right arm to inner right leg. Extend the left arm out. The palms face up. And then left arm overhead and start your side bend over toward the right. So again, you're just adjusting into it. The first one, you don't have to go so deep. On the inhale, release just a little bit. Exhale, can you go a little bit deeper? Inhale, release a little bit again. Exhale, deepen that to the best of your abilities and just hold. SG, your left leg, if you can rotate it up toward the sky. Yeah, there you go. All right, starting to break, make your way back up and just gently twisting to the right to neutralize your spine a little. Square back to center, grab the inner thighs above your knees and as you pull up, the knees will naturally bend. Soles of feet together. Let the feet come further forward, creating a diamond shape. You can grab your feet from the inside, or you can thread your arms underneath your legs. And then in this forward fold, you can round your spine as much as you want. So it's a very easy rounded back forward fold. And make your way back up, bend your knees, swing the legs back behind you, coming to your hands and your knees. Once you have your hands and knees, step the right foot back, your toes are tucked under, and then reach back through your right heel. So you're getting a nice stretch through your right calf. Shift back forward, pick up the right foot, extend the left arm forward in opposition. Bend your right knee, reach back with your left hand, grab the foot and kick back. <laughs> Where's that foot? Where's that foot? Now, once you have the foot, just look down to the floor and that will help you to balance. There you go. All right, release your left hand back down, down to the floor, kick the right heel back. On the exhale, draw the right knee in toward the nose. Ah, um, for um, Julie, uh, if you need padding to your left knee, we'll be here for a while. All right, uh, kick, uh, draw the right knee in. Inhale, kick the right heel back. Exhale, draw the right knee in. Inhale, kick back. This time, exhale, draw the right knee in, stay there, and then open up the knee to the right pendulating back to center. Open to the right, back to center, open right, back to center. Then step the right foot out to right side and stand up on the left knee, coming to gate pose. Side bend over to the right. Draw back to center. Hands to your lower back, your palms are to your lower back, ha uh, your fingers to the upper glutes, draw the elbows back, lift the chest. So you may stay here in this combination of a gate pose with a camel pose, or if you have a deeper back bend, you can reach back with the left hand to the left heel and raise your right arm up and overhead. Start to release. Make your way back up, walk your hands forward, take the right knee back down, and let's lift the knees for a down dog just to give the knees a little bit of a relief. All right, come back to plank and take the, knee, take the knees down. So hands and knees and stepping your left foot back. Tucking your toes under and then shift the left heel back in space to get that left calf stretch.
shift back forward slightly, lift the left heel. Left heel is reaching back, right arm is reaching forward in our position. Then bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, grab the foot and kick back. Now keep the gaze looking down to your floor to check your balance. All right, release your left leg back, right hand comes to the floor. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose around. Inhale, kick it back three times. Left knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick back. Left knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick back. This time, left knee in, and then you're gonna open up the knee to the left side, pendulate it back to center. Open left, back to center. Open left, back to center. And step the left foot out to the side, gate pose. Walk your hands in and stand up on the right knee. So you want the right shoulder, hip, and knee to be one straight line. Uh, arms parallel to floor, palms face up, and then side bend to your left. Take it back up. Hands to your lower back, your palms to your lower back, and your fingers rounding the top of the glutes. Draw the elbows back, lift and lean back. You may stay here and support your hands to your lower back for the back bend or the right hand to the right heel, left arm up and back. Start to release, make your way back up. Walk the hands forward, kick the left knee back down and down dog. And again, pedaling out the legs, walk it out side to side. All right, come back to stillness in your down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round, shifting forward. Inhale, kick back. Let's do that three times. Right knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, kick back. Open up the hips and bend the right knee. Re-extend the right leg, square off. Stepping your right foot forward, back heel comes down, warrior one, kicking the arms up high. On the inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up higher, bend the front knee, arms alongside, three times. Inhale, lengthen, reach up, bend the front knee, arms alongside, lift. Inhale, reach up, keep the arms reaching, bending the front knee is warrior one. Open it up, warrior two, so same thing here. Lengthen front leg, reach up high. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. You can modify elbow to top of the knee or the right hand to the floor, left arm reaching up. Extend your side angle, left palm face down, reach forward. Reaching forward with your left arm. All right, and then with your left arm, we're gonna take big circles with the left arm and smooth circles, okay? Inhale, raise your left arm up, back, down, forward. Five times, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward. Last one, up, back, down, Forward into a half bind, left hand behind you, and stack your shoulders. Keep the half bind, inhale, come up, reverse, warrior, right arm up and back. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Three progressive cobras, hands alongside the ribcage. On the inhale, lift up baby cobra, so your belly and your lower ribs stay on the floor. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher, so your belly and your lower ribs away from the floor. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up all the way. If you have full extension of your arms, take it for cobra. If that's a little bit deep, you can always bend the elbows.
and release all the way down, child's pose, seat toward the heels and fold. Down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose and round. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose and round. One more time. Inhale, kick up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up again. Open up the hip and bend the left knee. Re-extend the left leg. Step it forward. Warrior one. Back heel comes down. Arms up high and extend. Once you steady your balance and you have the extension, on the inhale, lengthen your front leg, reach up higher, bend the front knee, arms alongside, three times. Inhale, lengthen, reach up, bend the front knee, arms alongside, lengthen, reach up, keep the arms extending, bending the front knee as your warrior one. Open it up, warrior two, three more here. Lengthen front leg, reach up, bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen, reach up, warrior two, Length and reach up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Left arm to top left leg or left hand to the floor. Right arm up. Extend the right arm forward. Extend it side angle. And then we'll take uh, five big circles with the right arm. So smooth, big circles. Inhale, raise your right arm up. Back, down, forward. Up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward, three, up, back, down, four, up, back, down, five, into a half, five, right arm, uh, right hand back behind you and stack your shoulders. Inhale all the way up into reverse warrior, left arm up and back. Bend the front knee, hands to your floor. Left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, all the way down to the belly. So again, three progressive cobras. Articulating your spine as you make your way up. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Belly and your lower ribs stay on the floor. Exhale, lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Belly, lower ribs away from the floor. Exhale, lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. If you have full extension or arms, take it. And slowly release all the way down for child's pose. Seat toward the heels and fold. And then down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Step the right foot forward between your hands. Left knee comes down, crescent moon. If you need extra padding to your left knee, go ahead and take it. Walk your hands to the top of the thighs. Lunge your hips forward. Get into the stretch of the quads. So SG, walk your right foot a little bit further forward. You want the heel to be flat to the floor. Good. Once you have that, press your hands to your thighs and get the belly away from the thighs as you lean the upper torso back and you start to naturally look upwards toward the sky. And then when you're ready, arms up. You can take Venus Mudra, interlace the other fingers, reach up and back. Now keep your mudra, bend the elbows, press your arms to the sides of the head, and then lean the head back, maybe going deeper from here. Re-extend the arms, let the hands come to the inside of the right foot, Turn the right toes out at an angle. Walk your left hand a little bit wider. It might be even off the mat. Raise your right arm up and behind you, half bind. And then if you wanna go further, you can bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, grab the foot and kick. If that's too deep for you, stay here. Uh, 
All right, if you have the bind, release. Everyone, take the right arm up and forward. And then lizard pose. Walk your hands forward about a foot. If you can lower your forearms to the floor, take it. If you cannot, you can just keep your arms extending. All right, lift the elbows up, walk your hands back in, turn the right toes back forward, frame your foot. So we're preparing to kick the right leg back up into three-legged dog and draw it forward into pigeon. So tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee, raise your right leg up, three-legged dog, and then draw the right knee in toward the nose and land that shin to the floor for pigeon. Now notice that you're standing on the right shin in a point-to-toe position. Your right thigh angles off to the side 30 to 45 degrees. So if your thigh is right underneath your belly, I want you to angle the right leg out to the side, off to the side. So yeah, Julie, angle the right thigh even, yes, further away. There you go. Now it's out of the way of your belly, right? Because otherwise, if your thigh is in front of you, when you come down, it's in the way. So if you angle it out, out of the way of the belly. When you're ready, Walk your hands back, elongate through the spine, and this is where you check, are you level in the hips? All right? If you're pretty level and you're not falling off to one side, you should feel balanced. And then when you're ready, walk your hands forward. You can stay in your forearms or you can make pillows with the hands. All righty, start to walk your hands back in, tuck the left toes under and press it back to the down dog and walk it out side to side. All right, second side, raise your left leg up, step the left foot forward between your hands, right knee comes down for crescent moon, extra padding to your right knee if you need it. Walk your hands to the top of the thighs and then lunge your pelvis forward for the right quad stretch and press your hands to your thighs, lean the upper torso back, gently start to look upwards. Once you set your back bend, arms up, Venus Mudra, and reach up and back. All right, so Bridget, I think your left foot forward, uh, left foot can come forward a little bit. There you go. And then lean the hips forward. And then, yeah. You're falling off to the right side a little bit and you're letting the knee fall off to the side. I want you to line it up over the heel. All right, so you see you're crossing your leg over. I want you to walk it back this way. Good, so now your hips are square to come forward, right? Otherwise, if you cross your legs, this is, what, this is what's gonna happen, right? Your knees get all wonky. You want them to be about hips square so that when you come forward, they stay lined up, you see? All right, so let's bend the elbows and press your arms to the side of the head and lean back. Wow, you're quite late. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah. Oh boy. You want to hang out for a little bit? We're almost finished, and let me talk to you, and maybe you'll come back another time. I'll give you the credit for the class, okay? Because I feel bad that you, you missed the class entirely, but you made the trip. All right, let's start to break. Hands to, either, uh, to the floor, to either side of the left foot, and turn the left foot out to the side. 
Walk your right hand a little bit wider and then raise your left arm up and behind you for the twist. All right, so left hand behind you to your lower back for the twist. Um, so um, um, Heather, left hand behind you to your lower back. Now, if this is good enough, stay here. We're going deeper. Bend your right knee. Reach back with your left hand and grab the foot and kick back. And start to release your right foot. Take the hand to your floor in front of you and then walk your hands forward about a foot. If your hips are tight, you might want to just stay here. If you're able to lower your forearms, lower your forearms, and this is your lizard. All right, let's start to break. Lift the elbows back up. Walk your hands back in. Turn the left toes back forward. Frame your foot so you're nice and stable here, right? We're going to kick back before we come into the pigeon. Tuck the right toes under. Lift the right knee. Kick the left leg back. Three-legged dog. And then draw the left knee in toward the nose again. Land that shin to your floor. So again, you're standing on your shins in a pointed toe position. Left thigh angles out to your side, 30 to 45 degrees. With your hands supporting, into right knee further back, untuck the toes. Walk your hands back, elongate, and then make your way forward. So on this knee, it's problematic. Okay, so if that's the case, you want to be on your back and take it here instead. Yeah. So just to let you know, if that is problematic for you, right, we always want to think about symmetry. So maybe rather than taking pigeon on one side and nothing on the other side, you should do this on both sides. Right? That way you get the benefits of the hip opening with no impact on your knee. Right? Two more breaths. All righty, start to make your way back up. Walk your hands back in, press it back to your down dog. Tuck the right toes under and walk it out side to side. Once you're feeling pretty neutral and you're ready, start to walk your feet forward toward your hands and gently take the seat down. All right, we'll do some core here. All right, walk your feet in, hands come back behind you. Um, fingertips pointing forward is probably best. And walk your hands as far back as you need, right? And as far back as you need to lean your torso. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the feet and we're gonna slide the legs forward, up and back, okay? And then after we do that a few times, we'll extend and bend, okay? So we'll do that together, all right? Shift back, lift the feet. Keep the feet as close to the floor as possible as you slide the legs forward, fully extend, draw the knees in. Extend, knees in. Three, knees in. Four, knees in. Five, knees in. Six, knees in. Seven, knees in. Eight, knees in, nine, knees in, 10, knees in. Step the feet to the floor, take a few breaths. All right, shift back again, pick up your feet. This time we'll fully extend the legs up, extend, 
and bend. Extend, bend. Three, bend. Four, bend. Five, bend. Six, bend. Seven, bend. Eight, bend. Nine, bend. Ten, bend. Extend the legs forward. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, forward fold. Then gently come back up with your hands supporting to either side, slide onto your backs. Bridge pose, bend your knees, walk your feet in. Separate your feet about hips width with your fingertips, feel for the back of the heels. Step the feet down, yeah, feel for the back of the heels. And then when you're ready, press your heels down, lift the feet up, and then walk your hands underneath you, walk your shoulders in, so you're taking a back bend. There you go. Walk your hands in, sit. Thank you, Vinny, for hanging for a few more minutes. I just w definitely want to talk to you after class so that um, we can make an arrangement for next week or something. All righty, start to release and lower all the way down. Gently hug the knees in, stretching your lower back. And keep the left knee in, extend the right leg out to the floor. Left arm out to a T and twist to the right. You can take your right hand to the outer left leg and apply a little bit of pressure to deepen your twist. Okay, go back to center, switch legs, switch arms, and twist to the other direction. And start to take it back to center, hugging both knees in. And then when you're ready, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, Shavasana, find a relaxation. Let the feet separate, toes are turned out, arms alongside the body, palms face up, eyes are closed and let it all go.
beginning to draw your breath back in and start to move the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. And then rolling over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross leg position. When you take a seat, let's take the non-dominant shin on top again to um, bring more movement to your non-dominant side to even out with your dominant side. <laughs> I have to figure it out. <laughs> Pretty normal. Palms face up, fingers come back to the Anamudra, reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for Om. Um. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in the practice. And I'll come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you for being here today. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, costs are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.